Hi everyone, welcome. I'm Manuela Marcajani from Isomer Skincare. I'm a skincare specialist and scientist, and today we're going to talk a little bit about exfoliation. What is exfoliation? Exfoliation is a term that you hear all the time when people are saying, I want to cleanse my skin or I want to take care of my skin. What are the first things I've got to do? It's exfoliate. So what is it? Exfoliating is removing the surface layers of your skin or helping your skin shed. So what happens with your skin is that your skin literally starts, like think about this, it starts on the inside of you and it starts out as a liquid and then it comes to the outer edges and it creates this kind of tissue, connective tissue with little cells and these cells start to push their way up through. Remember the skin is the largest organ of the body and it starts at a lower level and it changes and morphs and becomes these skin cells. So they start down and they, they are basically on a journey to actually manifest or present on the surface of your skin. After they've gone through this journey and they've come up to the surface of your skin, it is time for them to go. But many times, um, and this usually takes like a 21 day cycle for, for most skin, they, they say it sheds on a 21 day cycle. But most cells, for example, and especially when you get a little bit older and your metabolism changes or you change your diet or you don't really have great hygiene routine, regular routine, a lot of cells will start to stick together and they won't shed on a smooth, easy basis. You'll also start to notice maybe wrinkling. You'll start to notice like thickening of the skin. You'll start to notice enlarged pores. So things are start now starting to happen with these cells on your skin. And instead of coming through and shedding through properly, they get impacted or sluggish. So the process of mechanical or exfoliation is very important because it helps the skin really shed itself on a regular basis. It tends to bring the newer skin cells to the surface. And when they're newer skin cells, they're usually of better quality. So they tend to be clearer, they tend to be firmer, they tend to be smoother, they tend to have a better color overall. And this is why we like to or encourage the exfoliation. One is for a feel. When you have those little bumps and everything, you want to get rid of those impacted cells. The other is for the aesthetic look as well, right? Because you want your skin to be even in color and texture, nice and tight. So this is what exfoliation does. How do you exfoliate? There are many ways to exfoliate. You can exfoliate mechanically, physically. So how would you do that? You can use a face cloth. Like a face cloth is one way of exfoliating and they're ac it's very, actually very, it's, it's, it's one of the ones that I kind of use every day with other skin care, right? So there's an exfoliation that is your face cloth. So if you've got your cleanser and you exfoliate using your face cloth or a loofah, that's really good for the body. On the face, I wouldn't use a loofah, but I would use a face cloth, hence the name, face cloth. Um, the other is to use a scrub. So that would be like a physical scrub. There are scrubs out there that are sugar-based. Those are great because why? It's good because when you actually introduce, you know, sugar is granular, so it gives a little bit of a scrubbing action, but when you introduce a liquid to sugar, what happens? It, it dissolves. So that actually in itself will soften or reduce the irritation or the aggressive nature of the sugar scrub. And that kind of is something that you can work with on your face and body. The other kind of scrubs could be from nuts or from lava or little bits of other aloe seeds I'm not a big fan and the reason why I'm not a big fan is if you're going to use a physical scrub a polish on your skin to exfoliate you want one with no sharp edges or something that won't create irritation or tears because what happens a lot of times we get really really enthusiastic we want nice smooth skin we want it to feel really glass like and we take these scrubs and we just go at it that's not ideal because you tend to irritate your skin. So go slow, go gentle, be more consistent. Not like go all gung-ho uh, one day um, and then have to pay the price of dry skin and irritated skin. So for me, I, I think that you go with gentler exfoliation every day, just do a little bit, and then you're going to see these really great results. Another way to exfoliate is using a chemical exfoliant. 
Chemical exfoliants are very popular and they are your alpha hydroxy acids. So you've got your glycolic acid, your lactic acid, your malic acid. You have beta hydroxy acids like the salicylic acid. You also have azelaic acid, for example, as an exfoliant. So there are different chemical peels that you can, that will help peel the skin and shed the skin. And they're usually in the AHA or BHA or retinoids are also other ways to exfoliate the skin. So you're gonna to want to choose the type of exfoliation that you need. You may have to vary, change up your exfoliation. Sometimes you'll need a little bit of a nudge with a physical exfoliant or a washcloth. Sometimes you're going to be just using glycolic acid, for example, which is one of the most common ways to exfoliate the skin, but soon as you get a little bit of a blackhead or something a little deeper, you might want to also add to it your salicylic acid. So the process of exfoliation is simple in the, in the theory. What does it do? Why is it important? Why we want to do it? And why, you know, your skin will look fresher and younger and better with proper regular exfoliation, but you can overdo it and you can get too enthusiastic. And when you do that, you actually compromise your skin. What you don't want to do is you don't want to dry your skin out. You don't want to increase inflammation or swelling or sensitivity. You don't want to make your skin more vulnerable because you can damage your skin by doing that. So something that is very good, like an exfoliation, can turn into something very bad if it's done too much too soon or without a plan in mind. I hope you enjoyed our conversation on exfoliation. As I said, it's something you should do a little bit every single day as part of your skincare routine. I like, I like a little bit of a combination, a little bit of a polish. Um, my favorite kind of polish is bamboo reeds. So we actually have those in our laboratory at Isomers. Uh, in Toronto and that's really great because it can roll on that skin surface and then it can actually help to exfoliate or shed away those rough dry cells. It helps to increase the smoothness of the skin and when you have proper exfoliation and gentle exfoliation, it helps with the penetration of the product as well. So for fresher skin, for better absorption, for just better overall skincare routine, exfoliation is a key step, but do it wisely, do it right. If you have any questions and comments, please uh, write to us. I look forward to reading them and answering them. And as usual, thank you so much for tuning in. We look forward to talking to you soon.